Right folks, good morning and welcome of all places to Australia. Uh, it's October and I've decided that um, I'd have a little break in Australia, uh, visiting some family over here. And while I'm here, I, uh, there's a YouTube channel I follow called, if I can remember this correctly, MVDBR possibly, Enduro. A guy called Josh that runs it. Uh, it does a lot of sort of uh, Enduro style riding on his T7. And I approached him a few weeks ago, just asking if there were any decent places sort of in this neck of the woods, because we were visiting not too far from here. Just asking if there were any sort of biker haunts and that sort of stuff and hangouts. And he recommended this uh, place behind me, which is called Rick's Garage. So I'll turn the camera around. I'm going to just give you a guided tour of it. Uh, I've never been here before. It looks absolutely awesome. There's a few bikes outside. I've taken some pictures of them and I'll include them in the video at various stages. There's a bit of merchandise in here, there's a bar, they do a good selection of food and at certain times of the week they do live music and that type of thing. So as I said folks, hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera around and take you inside um, and just see what you think of it. Alright, catch up with you in a moment. Right, so this is the outside of it. So this is Rick's garage. And just from what I learned on the internet, it seems that uh, from about 1922 onwards, uh, it was used as like a garage workshop. And we did that for 80 years, eight decades. And, um, and then it was bought by the current owners who are called Rick, obviously, hence the name Rick's garage, and his wife, Lisa. Uh, and they've run it for, which will be obviously for the last 17 years approximately, as a bit of a hangout and a biker venue. Uh, so I'm just going to show you some of the few bikes that are outside at the moment. We've got uh, Ducatis, Harleys, Suzuki's, bits of all sorts. So I'll just see if I can get over the road safely when these cars travel past. So I don't know too much about Ducatis, but uh, this looks a hell of a beast. Ducati... Yeah, if anybody knows what model that is, by all means, leave a comment down below. That's an awesome beast. And then the uh, Suzuki GSX 1400, which is obviously quite common in the UK. Not sure what age that is, what year it is, but it looks in good nick. Harley. Even looks like there's uh, like a crocodile seat on it, seat covering. Triumph. Harley there, 883 if that's the model number. Doesn't mean a great deal to me unfortunately, so I apologise for that. It's beautiful, some beautiful chrome work on that. They do have a certain appeal, don't they, the Harleys? Without a shadow of a doubt. Screen lights. So that's the Suzuki I was just looking at. And then a uh, couple's just turned up on this. PSA Rocket 3. I'm familiar with that one. Don't know if that's uh, something that we get in the UK or whether it just goes by a different name there. And that's a nice bike. And then the Kawasaki Z1000. So again, we do get those obviously in the UK. Very good. Right. So, Come down here to show you what there is. I'll just show you this car first. The GTS Monaro. A Holden. The Queensland plates. Looks very nice. But that's about a V6 or a V8 or something. Beautiful interior. Red leather, 
first seats.
Right, yeah, I enjoyed that place, that was really good. So uh, I did manage to get a couple of t-shirts and uh, I asked if they'd be kind enough to donate to me a menu, um, which is obviously quite unique. You're never going to get anything like that in England. Uh, so they very kindly, they did give me a menu and I'm going to frame that and hang it up in the conservatory when I get home. So I'm looking forward to that. And what else? Yep, staff there, extremely friendly, food, very good service everything can't fault it it's a fantastic place so if you ever do get out this way to australia come to palm woods which is on the sunshine coast just above um i forgot where we're staying now uh, caloundra uh, yeah just off uh, the highway uh definitely worth a visit and um so anyway something a bit different i'll include a few photographs as well in the video just for what i took so i hope you enjoyed that and if you did uh, please i'd appreciate if you just leave a comment down below and if you want to subscribe, that'd be appreciated. But obviously, you don't have to do. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch up with you all on the next video. Ta da for now.